what is going on guys, I'm back with another video showing you why you should undervolt your PC so you get best cooling and that has really impacted the cooling on my laptop. So I have a HP Pavilion G6 and at like default clocks and all that, um, when I was gaming it went up to like maybe 80 degrees, something like that, and that was quite high. And now I've got it to go at like 45 degrees which is amazing. So um, there's two programs you can use, um, there's the first one which is down here, it's called Fusion Tweaker, this is only f um, for AMD Lano like APUs, they're quite good actually, but um, you can use this program for Lano. Um, so here we have all the different, oh, I've actually never done this before, but you've got all the different tabs here, and P7, all, the, all these um, like digits here are different levels of clock speed, so it goes up and up and up. So if you're on the battery and it, you notice it kind of goes up and down between the clock speeds, this is the different like sets it's got. So um, I'm going to look at P1 and P0. So P0 is like, I call it the boost tab, that's what its maximum is. And for this, we're not doing overclocking at this point, so this is just um, volts. So um, if we have P1 and P0 at your default, which for me is 1.8 gigahertz, and then you see that's the multitude or multi whatever it's called. That's that. And then the VID is just the volts. Mine is default um, for P1. It's default for 1.1 volts. P0 for the boost is normally 1.4125 something like that. And I can't believe that they did that because I've noticed that's rubbish because having more volts doesn't affect performance, it just makes it hotter because it's the electricity getting passed through. So more volts equals more heat, nothing else. So um, what you do is you go down a step every time and check it until it crashes. It's not going to affect anything, it's not going to... like Make sure you save your work, but um, until it crashes and then you just reboot and then put it to the, the lowest one before it crashed. So for that, um, for me, that one's 0 0.95 volts. And I have it for both that one. And then if you just lower it one each tab down, so that when you're in the battery and it's just idling, it'll be 0 0.87 volts, which will be just really, really, really cold or cool. Um, so that's the one way you can do it, which is quite good. I can use combination, I don't know why, but I do. Um, probably the best way is using AMD Overdrive, and I forgot to say this in the start of the video, this is just for AMD processors that I can that I can do this with, and I haven't really tried it. This is um, AMD E2, which is quite a nice little energy saving one. So if we open it up um, by clicking it, it'll come up with this message saying I don't know, just be careful basically, we're not responsible, which is fine. Just if you know what you're doing, then you're not gonna break anything. So it has all these different tabs. We're gonna go to clocks and voltage. And we have um our speeds here, so that's what it's actually uh, the actual speed is using my two cores. And um this is what we're targeting, which is fine because it's the same. And then down here, or up here have the target voltage again like the CPU speed and then the current voltage and then you can actually control the voltages here and there's two this time this is just each one um, one for each core so you get a bit more control using this and I have it again at 0 0.95 volts and then um, if you want to overclock use this one but I'll talk about that later like in another video so you can put these up and down, that's the maximum that was on at the boost tab, remember? And that was just pathetic. So I'll just discard that. Um, yeah, so if you go to status monitor, CPU, you can look, it's at um, 48 degrees C, which is really, really good. And I've been, I've just come off a game and um, just testing out the voltage thing. So it's really, really cold, really cool. And same with the GPU. You go really nice and cold there. Oh, sorry, it's not cold, cool. Um, so try not to let it get too high in temperature, but doing this, you won't let it get too high, so that's really good. So thank you very much for watching my video on how to 
undervolt your CPU or APU in my case um, for AMD Lano at the moment. But I think you can use AMD Overdrive for different AMD processors. Um, so yeah, thank you very much. Goodbye. <laughs>